Hi, welcome to this tutorial on the properties of vectors. Now, suppose I took two vectors here, A, B and C, D. You'll notice that if I take this vector C, D, it's exactly the same as the vector A to B. Same length and same direction. The displacement vector A to B is exactly the same as the displacement vector C to D. And we would write that as A to B equals C to D. I don't have to call them A to B, C to D. I could say that the two vectors, because they're the same, are called, say, A, for instance. So both of these would equal the vector A. OK, well, that's equal vectors. Let's look at another property. Now, suppose I had a vector, say, E to F. And I took another vector, which was parallel, but going in the opposite direction and was exactly the same length. Then what I can say is that the vector E to F is exactly the same as the vector minus f to e. I'm reversing the direction. And this is the negative property of vectors. So in summary, suppose I had a parallelogram OACB and the side OA was the vector A. And similarly going from O to B was the vector B. Then because this is a parallelogram, I could find vectors like b to c. The vector b to c, because it's the same length as o to a and going in the same direction as o to a, then I could say that that's the vector a. And if I was looking at, say, c to a, what would that be? Well, it's parallel to the side ob, but it's going in the opposite direction to OB. So it would be minus B. Well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial. So I hope you've been able to understand the equality of two vectors, that they must share the same magnitude and direction, and the negative property of a vector, where if we're going in the opposite direction, we use the negative sign.